Social landlords have limited funds, so we've developed a low-cost way for them to comply with the new regulations while they invest in making their buildings safer. We've started the process by using the data they already have, like this simple spreadsheet with the details of each block, its height and the number of units. We now have a collaborative space with data containers to bring together anything people might have on SharePoint or on shared drives. Active Plan lets the administrator control who can see what. Tenants could be granted access to engage them, perhaps uploading photos of fire assets that have been vandalised. Remember, this asset information model was created automatically from a simple spreadsheet. Here we drill into one of the properties and the information from the spreadsheet, like the height of the block and the number of homes, is now in the database where it's a lot easier managed. It uses web services to connect to other cloud-based solutions like the various asset management applications different departments use, or in this case, a URL connection to Google Street View. We can search for a particular property or provide a user with dedicated link directly to that site. We've uploaded some sample documents that can be collected against this block. This means the asset, compliance and building safety teams can work in parallel, gathering together all of the documents they need to satisfy the regulators. A version of the PDF floor plans in the secure information boxes can be stored along with manufacturer's evidence of the performance of products that should be somewhere in the O&Ms. If you don't have them, you can provide manufacturers with direct access to upload them. Key assets like smoke vents can be held as machine-readable data in a product library which can produce product data sheets in a standardised format. And manufacturers can take responsibility for the data. The spaces become data containers that can also hold new records. To keep costs down, a shared 360 camera in the hands of a building safety manager can create some really useful BIM data when it's stored against a space. CAD teams are given a library of intelligent blocks to place on the drawings. They look normal enough, but they turn into interactive objects so the additional information can be easily added at a later stage. The professional survey firms we're working with use something a lot more high-tech, like this 60K Navis camera that captures a point cloud and 360 photos as John simply walks the corridors. The surveyors import this into Revit and slice through the model to create 2D fire plans and 3D models if funds permit. In this case, we only need the plans. So here's the interactive active plan that was created by the surveyors. Each space is a data container that contains the 360 photos from the scan that lets subject matter experts do an initial review and prioritise the work. As you can see, a lot of work was already underway at Latham House when the survey was done, and the 360s provide a record, plus a connection with Active Plan's asset data library, lets the asset teams create a quick and easy record of what they can see in each space. It's not the holy grail, but it's a very cost-effective way of creating an asset list in a way that's easily validated. Active Plan's library can include recommended inspection and maintenance procedures, and can populate many different systems that manage work orders. In some cases, they can pass the status of that asset back to Active Plan so the team can see the impact of an asset or system that fails inspection. Once you have interactive assets, they can be connected to the many different survey apps where inspectors, installers, or maintainers keep online records. Proper joined up stuff.